Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at an example of a non-homogeneous differential equation where f of x is a polynomial function. So let's have a look. So here we have our differential equation. You'll see it is 2 uh, with the second derivative minus 11 times the first derivative plus 12y equals 3x minus 2. So because you have a non-homogeneous differential equation, that means that you have your equation equal to some function over here, which is 3x minus 2. You have a solution which is made up of two parts. The first part is your complementary function and the second part is your particular integral. So let's have a look at finding our, our complementary function. So your equation can be written as this in the operator form. And we know that that complementary function is equal to 0. We know that from the homogeneous cases that we've looked at before. So then we look at our auxiliary equation which is 2d squared minus 11d plus 12 equals to 0. Now you can either prime factorize or you can use your um, quadratic formula for this. I am going to prime factorize. It's 2d minus 3 times d and it is minus 4 equal to 0. Okay, and that means that our solution is 3 over 2 and d equals to 4. So what you've got is you have roots for d which are different and real. So our solution is going to take this form. So that's our complementary function. Now for our particular integral, for ypi, you're going to use your equation times ypi has to equal 3x minus 2. So that means that your second derivative acting on your particular integral and you have your first derivative acting on your integral, particular integral, and that has to be equal to 3x minus 2. Right? So what you're looking for is you are looking for a trial function for your particular integral so that when you find your first derivative and your second derivative and you substitute into this equation here, your equation has to balance, which means that everything on your left hand side has to simplify down to 3x minus 2. So let's choose a function. Keep that equation up here. Okay, so let us choose ypi, and you see what you've got here is you have a polynomial, so there's a to the power one. So chances are your trial function is going to have a form something like this. Because when you substitute into your left hand side, you need to have an x term and you need to have a constant value as well. So our first derivative is then going to be c and our second derivative is going to be 0. Right? Then we substitute in. So we substitute into our equation. So it's going to be 2 times 0 minus 11 times c plus 12 times cx plus d, which has to equal 3x minus 2. Right? And from this, we can find our values for c and for d. So let's simplify. We get 11c plus 12cx plus 12d equals to 3x minus 2. 
okay so now you have to look at your like terms because remember you're working with an equation here which means your equation has to balance so that means that all your like terms on each side of your equation must be equal to one another so all your x terms so that is an x term there and that is an x term there those must be equal to one another all your constant values so this one is constant that is constant and that is constant they need to be equal to one another so it means that minus 11c plus 12d has to be equal to minus 2 12cx has to be equal to 3x and that means that c is a quarter right then we can find d because we now know what c is Therefore, we have minus 11 times a quarter plus 12d equals minus 2, which means we'll have 12d equals minus 2 plus 11 over 4, and that simplifies to, it is 3 over 4, which means d is going to simplify down to 1 over 16 okay so that means now we have our values for c and d which means that our particular integral is going to be a quarter x plus 1 over 16 which means our final answer our final answer y is going to be the complementary function plus your particular integral which is going to be AE 3 over 2x, BE to the 4x, plus a quarter x, plus 1 over 16. All right. Right, so you see that your complementary function plus your particular integral. So this is the complementary function that we found earlier, and that is our particular integral. And this here is the general solution of the differential equation.